Edwards, Stanley's mug begins tonight. Hi, everybody. James Savosky for EA Sports. It's playoff time. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. That's a good way to start. Tucson's on the board already. I don't think everybody's even found their seats yet to this one. Yeah, I just looked up for my notes here, James, and they'd scored. I mean, they just exploded out of the gate, and right off the hop, you can tell that they have their legs tonight. Let's see how much offense they can generate. I love it. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. Quick pass to Drew. Jones carrying it ahead. Fires it. Oh, how did he get a piece of that? Covers it up and we'll get a stoppage in play. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The Roadrunners lead it 1-0. Ontario's won the draw. Pickett has it in the defensive end. They've got the defense on number. Beautiful stick save to keep them from lighting the lamp. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. And this time, he bails his team out. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Tucson's got the puck against the half wall. Moves it to Houdon. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Great reach with the puck check. And he hangs on to the puck. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, that goes off his mask. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. He was locked in there. Good check, frees the puck up. Doty's got it against the boards. Quick stop by the top. I love this save, James. I mean, the goaltender is so aggressive on this play. Doesn't give the shooter any time to get rid of it. Ontario's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, and a save on the play. Bolalta's going to hang on for a whistle. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Ontario's going to start with the puck inside the offensive zone. With some open space at center. Now he slides it up to Chromiak. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Quick feed to Leonard. With possession along the wall. Save made by the goalie. Oh man, he's so dialed in. Makes consecutive saves there and keeps his team in it. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Won the draw here in their own zone. Ontario's moving it along the wing. Dumps the puck in. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. Into the attacking area from the left side. And he turned that on the side. And he loses control here. Santini's got it in the defensive end. Oh, what a smart heads up play. 
Nissan's taking possession in their own end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a short pass to Hickett. Tucson's got the puck in their own end. Camper stick handling in his own zone. Moves it quickly over. To it's a two on one. Here's a pass. Oh, spectacular save to shut down the rush. And that goes wide. Hockey is a game of inches, and you know these athletes take so many shots on net and practice. And then this one just over rotate, under rotate, but nonetheless misses the net. My goodness, this has been a pressure fed shift here. Takes the puck along the boards. Winning with it here in the offensive end. Into the offensive end now. Oh, just a great heads up play by Tynan. Grabbed along the boards by Thomas. Quick pass to Madden. Oh, stick save and a butte. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Tucson's up, one zip. And it's a quick pass to Leonard. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Oh, hit against the boards. Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver. He's got nowhere to go. He's lined up. And then he's taken down. Ontario's had the scoring opportunities, but they still find themselves behind in the first. Takes possession off the draw. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Shot! Can't get it to go. Passes over to Doty. Moving into the attacking zone. Puts a little mustard on the hit to knock the puck loose. Sends it across the ice. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Hooked away by Santini. Stars! And the kid comes up clutch here in the postseason. Oh, he does it, James. Gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Wouldn't it be pretty if this was a set shot? Just aim for the inside of the post and know that it's going to go in? That's not typically the case, but tonight it is. The Roadrunners are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Turned aside with a glove by down. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Ontario's got the win off that draw. Through center. Moves it to Pinelli. Shot. And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now. Working the puck deep inside their own end. They've got numbers. Quick feed to Hellenius. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Ontario's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Ward. Oh, the out of the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Takes a bump and loses control of the puck. Now he takes it over the line. Here's a shot! Denies him with the pass save. Through center along the wing. Handles the pass. Here's a chance behind the net. Takes a shot. Makes a save. Cool and calm under pressure. Ontario's generated a lot of scoring chances here in the first, but they still find themselves trailing late. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And kept that one out of the net. Moves it quickly over to Doan. The rain have it on the attack. Scores! And that 
It's his first career playoff goal, and he'll take it. Uh, he will, James, because the playoffs is just a different beast. It's not regular season anymore. You want to be an impact player. You want to make a difference, and he does tonight. Some goalies have cat-like reflexes, and tonight he's just a little slower, James, to get across, and unfortunately it hits him. He doesn't get all of it, and it winds up in the back of the net. In the final moments of this period, Ontario still down a goal here, but they have really picked up the tempo these last few minutes. That's set her up. He grabs the puck. Fires it over. Scores! Are you kidding me? Two goals in 10 seconds? And as quick as a hiccup, we are all tied here, Pounder. I'm not sure what's going on right now. When you're behind in a game, James, sometimes you can get frustrated, rattled, and you can start to really see the body language go down, but they have stuck with it. They've clawed their way back, and they're in the game now. Some last-second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. Smith won the draw. Let's see what they can do with possession. Tucson's on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Leonard. Denies him in close. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Ontario's got it along the wall. That's blocked. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Ontario's got the puck. Passes it over to Drew. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. The Roadrunners take it along the wall. Shot denied by the goaltender. They're like a swarm of bees out here with this pressure. And there's a whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much needed stoppage. and his great work inside the face-off circle pays off again. Aims the zone along the right wall. Here's a shot. The big save has Scores! And with that, I believe that's his first career playoff goal. Well, it is, James, and it's going to feel pretty good because there's a lot of question marks around players who can't get it done in the playoffs, and he finds the back of the net. That's going to give him a big confidence boost to send him through the next game. The rain have put themselves in front by a goal here in the first. Oh yeah, and there's too much game left here to just sit back and, and play with that lead, James. It's not cozy or comfy enough. They've got to find a way to push for more. On the attack along the boards. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Forces the turnover. Ontario's got a hold of it along the wall. Now a quick pass to Houdon. Moves the puck along the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Udall. Tucson's got control of it now from the road end. Grabs the puck. Poked away in the offensive zone by Udall. There's the buzzer. Fans seem to enjoy that first 20 minutes. We'll get to the second period right after both teams get a chance to catch their breath. Stick around. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating his birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and you'll see their name up on our page. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Ontario is playing a strong game here in terms of possession and trying to get pucks to the net. They're really attacking and finding those lanes, and that's exactly... He scores! And there's the hat-trick three as the magic number. It's a magic number. He's doing everything he can take the crowd out of this one as he's with the away team, but he's been dominated, playing really confident all night long. Ontario's on a roll tonight. Now they've extended the lead to two. They're on a roll, and you can see it in their body language, the way they're communicating on the bench. When you're winning and you're feeling it, everything's alive. And now he tries to get it across to Thomas. Takes the feed up ahead. Excellent stick work on the play. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Great use of the stick in the defense. 
defensive end by Santini. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Levels him with the hit. And he slides it quickly to Jennick. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Hurry. Tosses it to Doan. The Roadrunners looking against the half wall. And there's a save. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Ontario's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Uh, okay, Tony's won a big draw on their own end. Moves the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Rocks it on the play. Sends it into the offensive zone. Tucson's got it in their own zone. Nice feed from the right wing. The Wayne have it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Here we go. Odd man rush here. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Roadrunners played along the way. Just gets enough to keep it out. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Ontario's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Tucson's won the faceoff. And that's knocked away. Ontario's got possession of the puck. Drills him. Ontario's got it now. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. the puck inside the neutral zone. Takes it to the net! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point-blank range. Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Oh, gets a proper on that one as he just got enough of it. Ontario's moving it up the ice. And they'll dump it in. The Roadrunners get a hold of the puck along the boards. And that's intercepted, and they'll go on the attack. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Ontario's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Tucson's got a hold of the puck. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Douglas. From the point, looks to make something happen. Tucson's got it in the own zone. What a stop. Such an impressive save, James. And I love to look at these ones again because it's not just being in great position. It's being desperate. It's finding a way to get to the puck, keeping your eye on it at all times, tracking it, out-battling and out-willing everyone around you. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Ontario's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Toss it up on the play. Dell's last save was absolutely incredible. James, not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Quick shot! The rain have gained possession off the wall. Takes control of the puck. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Throws it in. Tucson's got the puck along the wall. The rain have taken to the offensive attack. Makes a save. Moves it to Doan. Into the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Jennick. Quick feed to Stones up with the blocker. The setters will glide into the dot. Nice job tying up his opponent. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Tucson's got the puck against the board. Oh, tremendous save on the one-timer! 
Well past the midway mark of this period. It's a two-goal lead here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Thomas gets called for the trip. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are different so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. And they clear that puck. Tucson's looking to break out. Handles the pass at center. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Dell's been a consistent presence in the crease, James. I mean, he's made the stops he's needed to, but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Tucson's got the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. The Roadrunners have it now. Oh, just a textbook hit. And he gets just enough to keep it out. Clearing attempt. Thomas gets a boost from the penalty killers. He's out of the box. Well, the power play unit looks stifled out there, and they have to make adjustments and read off. Hold on a second, James. There's going to be a call on this as you see the official signaling a penalty. The Roadrunners are being called for tripping. Ontario sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Stops him with a glove! Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Smith's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they win the draw here in their own end. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Takes a shot. Great save by Dell. Oh, wow, stops him again. When that shot came quick and it was right out front, he had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Tynan. Tucson's got the puck shorthanded. And they get that puck down the ice. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. And it's a great read to pick off the pass. And a solid save there as we play on. And now he moves it quickly to Thomas. And the power play comes up empty. Both teams got deep and straight. A tremendous job by the PK units, James, to get out there and show hard work. This is exactly what it takes to kill a penalty, and they did an excellent job. And that shot dies in traffic. And a good save on the play as action continues. Here we go, one man rush. Moves it to the middle. And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. And he slides it quickly to Drew. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Here's a feed in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Sends the pass over. And he's knocked off the puck there. Takes the feed. Tucson's got the puck. The Roadrunners will play it from the defensive zone. Shot! Turns that one away! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Here in the later stages of this period, 4-2 is the score. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. The Roadrunners will play it in their own end. Taken along the wall by Kirkland. The Rain have possession along the boards. Ontario's got the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Ward. Hugs the boards through the neutral zone. In close! Answers the call big time. What a stop by Malota! Man, is he ever quick on his feet, anticipating the play. Excellent reflexes. He's saving his team right now. And now he moves it to Douglas. 
Moves it to the middle. Misses. Battle along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Adol. Ontario's got it across the line. Strong defensive effort. Grabbed along the board by Jennick. And a smart heads up play to put that away by Doty. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Are you looking to impress at your next group event? Then rent out one of our luxury boxes. With great views, waiter service, and free team merchandise, your time is now to reserve your seat in one of our extravagant luxury boxes. See our website for details. Team line, they are ready to get this third period underway. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Ontario's ahead right now, and that's the operative word right now, James, because this has been back and forth. This is all about high-flying offense. I know that you'll love this type of game. The rain have taken possession along the wall. Quick pass to Santini. There's a collision with some authority. Oh, he got pulled by Adele. That's a fantastic save by the goal. Scores! And look at that. The rookie gets in on the playoff scoring. Well, talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. The Roadrunners have suddenly put themselves into striking distance to even things up here in the third. And it's tough when you're on the other side of this. You can feel the wave coming and you're not sure how to stop it. So they have to find a way to continue the pace and put them on their heels and just attack the net. Ontario's gained possession along the boards. Passes up ahead for the left wing. McGregor's got the puck. Here's a chance. got him back in to make it a goaltender they have to have talent they have to have mobility they have to be able to track the puck but they have to have a willingness to find it and fight for any second shot and that's exactly what happens here out battling out willing and you make the save the roadrunners have looked good tonight but they still trail here early in this third period despite leading in the shot department just a simple pass save made by dell no quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards The net comes off. Lots of time left in this period. The Roadrunners make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Here's a rip! Scores! And the scratching and killing has paid off as we are back to even. Now we're back to evens, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Both centers ready to take the draw here coming up. Receives the pass. 
ring. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping goal. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and he got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Tucson's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Grabs the puck. Offensive zone face-off for this power play group. And does it feel like this is opportunity knocking here, Cheryl? Uh, absolutely. Anytime you're on the power play, there's an opportunity, especially when there's a fatigued goaltender. And you've had the majority of the possession here, James. I love their motion. I love the way they're opening up lanes. They just need to find a way to convert against a tired Tendi. Puck sent over to McGregor. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Fires it. Oh, and they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. We got a tie game. Ward's won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. And he takes the feed. And there's the save! Moves it quickly over to Lee. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. From center, they get into the attacking area. Ontario's got a hold of the puck now. Slides the puck across to Hudson. Looking for space inside the D zone. Sends it in deep. Tucson's got a hold of it against the wall. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Oh, he got hit by a freight train. Scores! It's in the back of the net. And it comes from an unlikely source because that's his first career playoff goal. Well, he's been relentless, James, in his playoffs. And you know what? He's found a way to find the back of the net. That's going to be a huge confidence boost for himself and his teammates. He gets the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Tucson's got to know that this game is not over just yet with lots of playing time left in this third period. But they do, Cheryl, have the enviable position of having the lead. Well, they've got the lead. Now they're playing in front, but they got to do a lot more of what they've already done, James, and that's hold on to the puck. Manage it. Don't give it up easily. Make good blue line decisions, and they should be fine. To the middle! Couldn't complete the pass! Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. And he rings the post! Ontario's been working hard and they're still in the game here. Yes, they hit the pipe and it went out, but they're still in the game. They have to fight right to the end. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Great poke check on the reach. Tucson's moving it into the offensive end. The rain have gained control of the puck along the wall. Shot! Big time stop! Tucson's top trio continues to impress James. They've had a lot of motion in the offensive zone. They're having a ton of fun showing that chemistry, a lot of zip. And they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. Cruz lugging the puck. Under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Let's see what the officials are calling. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play is going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to beat attack. Ontario's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James, finding a way to move the puck quickly and create seams to get
get shots on that. And they move the puck out of harm's way. Moves it over to Tynan. Madden's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Thomas. Here's a chance in front. Leonard's hauled down. Penalty on the way. Let's see the call here. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing when you're PKing. here with a little four-on-four four action. A few ways to play a four-on-four. Four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. The rain have the puck against the boards. Slides it diagonally to Thomas. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. And a solid save on the play there. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Penalty expires, and the PP unit gets set to go to work. And he easily stops that one. Takes the feed from the left side. And it's a quick pass to Smith. Cuts to the point. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal. Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, he fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Roadrunners aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Ontario's got a hold of the puck. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Roadrunners have it now. Moves it to Jenik. Slides the puck to McCartney. The Roadrunners gain possession in their own end. Great defensive effort with the stick. Ontario's in on the offensive attack now. Stopped by the goaltender. Tucson's got a hold of it along the wall. Picked up along the boards by Udall. Now a quick pass to Tony. Stones him in front. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. A critical draw here. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Picked up along the wall by McCartney. Jones crossed the line and is on the attack now. Centering feed. Attack through center. Quick feed to Tynan. Scores! The captain comes through! You know what amazes me, James? The, the ability to pull that shot off. Get it into the feet quickly, but the accuracy. So you're quick with the release, but you find the back of the net with pinpoint precision. The rain have pushed back here in the third and have made this a one-goal hockey game. Yeah, tough pushback. And sometimes when it's not working, you have to make adjustments. And those adjustments are really successful in this one. Here's a short pass to Fegamo. Answers the call with a big save. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Helenius is quick on the draw. Oh, I thought he had the corner and just missed. Well, it looked like he did. You can just see that inside leg just bare down the bottom hand as well, but he's unable to convert. Moves it quickly over to Trivia. They've got to find a way to get some offense here, and they've got the extra attack around with the goaltender at the bench. And that play's broken up. Here we go. Look at this here. Really applying the squeeze down on the offensive end. And it's picked up by the D. And they'll end all that 
kick off a playoff series by taking that opening win and get that momentum on your side. Well, you know, heading into the series, this is the exact game that they've been talking about that they wanted to come out on top on. It's really important to dictate play right from the onset of the series. You really want to send the message that you're here, you're here to play, and you're here to stay. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Sinolsky. Thanks so much for joining us here this evening. The playoffs roll on, and we will see you then next time.